So if, if any of you guys have been here before, and I threw four months ago or whatever, when, when I was uh, uh, able to speak at when we were at the Tower Club, you may have heard uh, my, uh, it's four, two o'clock in the morning and my car's broken down on I-495 North speech. Um, I'm not gonna do that again tonight. Um, if you wanna hear it, I'll be happy to give it to you <laughs> separately. Um, you know, a joint venture, which is what this is, uh, is a special uh, uh, team. Um, I've uh, had the uh, luxury of, and the, the benefit of being able to set up a lot of joint ventures. Um, uh, we set up one of the very first joint ventures under the SBA that had ever been done <clears throat> back 14 years ago when, uh, when the VA was coming out with a, a GREC called the VETS GREC. And, um, we got ready to, to farm a joint venture, and uh, the SBA didn't even know what one was. We went to Kansas City, met with them, and they said, well, why don't you write us some, some procedures so you can, uh, we'll know what this is about. And, and those procedures are still in line today. It's almost uh, not word for word, it changed, but I mean, it's what the, uh, the SBA final rule today, that came out in November 2020 now, I guess, uh, you know, is, is essentially what, uh, a joint venture should be, and that's what you guys are. Um, some people say I, I, I know a lot about joint ventures and uh, expert and subject matter expert. I don't really think so. Uh, but um, I really don't want to talk about joint ventures tonight. I thought, uh, I thought I'd talk about sports because everybody likes sports. And um, uh, I, I think that uh, team sports are really some of the most critical things you can do. I, I played. Uh, you know, in my years, I played football in high school and college. I played a little bit of baseball. I think I know what soccer is. I love team sports, but I, I think the, the greatest team sport of all happens about every four years, okay? Uh, the Olympics. And um, I don't really care about the first week of the Olympics. I love the second week, because I think that's when the best team sport of all comes along. That's the track and field. Um, I love track and field. I love it because any one person doesn't make the team win. Everybody is needed to make the team win. You can win the 100-meter dash, but your team doesn't win unless you're winning other things as well. I love team sports. I love that kind of a sport because you can't just be the best because one person is the best. LeBron James can take any team, well, could, maybe not now, but he could take any team he was on and make them the best. We can't do that in a joint venture. We need everybody in a joint venture to do their best. And that's why I like track and field, because I, I look at joint ventures as, and I, I, I look at these tables, and I look at it almost as you know, different races. You know, the, in my day, I ran uh, uh, 400 meter hurdles. Uh, I would break the ground today when I landed, but then I didn't. <laughs> and uh, when you got ready to, to run, you just went out, and you got around your blocks, and you it's all different today. You know, when you turn on the TV for the Olympics, they're coming out from behind a curtain, they're standing there, they're waving, and uh, then they go and they get in their box and they run the races. And the only people that win are the ones that have this great support behind them. They got the best coaches, they got the best trainers, they got the best equipment, they got the best training facilities in Denver, Colorado. Is that in Denver? No, no, it's in, uh, it's in uh, uh, Colorado Springs, right? Got the best training facilities. You know, those are the teams that win. And that's what a joint venture does. That's what he's setting up. <clears throat> joint ventures that win. That table over there, you guys are running the 100 meter, uh, the 400, uh, four by 100 meter relay. All of you guys have to succeed. If anybody falls out, that team loses. You lose that race. You got the four by 200, you got the four by 400, you got the four by, you know, you got all these different races that you're doing and all of you have the opportunity to help the team succeed. And that's what the joint venture is. And what races are you guys running? I'll tell you, I don't think I can name them all. <laughs> CIOSP4, small business. You've already started that race. It's already underway. CIOSP4, SDVOSB. CIOSP4, a woman on a small business. 8A. My company, PV United already has COSB3. 
We've got SP4 coming. We're going to win that. We've got iTest 3S, another race you guys are running. iTest 3S sitting over here. We've got a proposal sitting on iTest 3S right now for six and a half million dollars. I think we're going to win it. We're going to win that race because we have team members who are not dropping the baton. Got Polaris, another race we're running. Polaris Small Business, 8A. <laughs> We've got high tips. We've got those races are already underway. We've already bid those, all of those, uh, those um, solicitations. We've already bid them. We're just waiting to win. You're running the race right now. You got coming up. You've got Alliant. You've got the Oasis Relay Race, right? Coming up. These are all things that we are either have bid, have won, or are bidding. And the beauty of it is, it's a team sport. Every one of you guys can participate in it and are. Every one of you people are going to be able to be part of the, the winning race when that race wins. Four years ago, during the Olympics, my company, you know, six years ago, it wasn't Olympic, but DP United, um, started winning task orders. Joint venture just like yours, except one huge difference. We really didn't have any leadership. We let DB United run from the ground up. Anybody want to bid this? You want to bid? Okay, go ahead and bid it. We just let you bid. We didn't give you any support. We just provided the task order for you to be able to bid. Six years later, DB United, with none of the abilities that you have here, none of the support you have here, we are we build, and I just got this number because I had to submit it for the high tips proposal. DV United, small business, not, not the SDVOSB contract, just our small business contract. We have invoiced, there's two numbers they want. They want the no, total number of dollars you've invoiced in the past five years. $173 million invoiced. What's your backlog? What's your backlog? We have $140 million in backlog. That's on CIO SP3 with a joint venture not that much different than yours, but without all the leadership and without all these opportunities you have. So um, I, I love the team sports. I love track and field because that's what joint ventures are. They're not basketball teams. They're not football teams. They're not soccer teams. They're not tennis teams. They're really track and field teams. You got fast ones. You got slower ones. You got people who can, are very heavy uh, strength companies. You got companies who can do um, software development. You got everything you need to win the team sport of track and field, which is our, what a joint venture is. Anyway, that's what I was thinking as I was sitting here. I never said any of that before out loud. I kind of just thought it up, but I, I really believe that's that's how I see things. So, anyway, thank you all for uh, being here and for allowing me to stand up and bore you with sports. So. <laughs> thank you.